Hi, I'm Andrea. Today I'm going to talk about um, the essentials for summertime. Um, summertime, as we know, it's completely different than winter. Your skin needs are different. Uh, you're going to need different things or in a different way. So let's talk about um, skincare. I am all natural, nothing on other than my skincare because I figured it would be appropriate since we're talking about skincare. Um, I do have a little bit of um, something on my lips, uh, mostly, mostly for moisturization and also for a little bit of color because I feel like I got none going on. <laughs> so anyway, so I'll, we're going to start and I'm going to try to do it in order. Hopefully I don't uh, spoil the order, but I'm going to do it in order of application and usage. So first thing you need is a cleanser. Now, the cleanser you use, it depends on you. If you're acne prone, I do recommend this one. It seems to be really good, uh, keeping at bay the um, um, the pimples, the clogged pores, all of that, to a certain degree. Like, all of these ingredients and all of these products work with each other. So it's not gonna be just you're gonna use one and you're gonna see huge difference because they all each work in a different way and for different things. And also, like for example, the cleanser, um, you only have it on your face for a little bit. So it's only gonna do a little bit. Now, if you, on the other hand, use something that's a leave-on treatment, it's gonna give you different result, results. But also, if you are sensitive and you can't use a leave-on, then definitely use a cleanser. So you know your skin the best and um, thinking of that is how you actually need to put products together to um, to make sure that you're not upsetting your skin or that you're actually getting the benefits that you actually are looking for so anyways cleanser do not skip on cleanser um, if you're dry skin and you don't want to wash your face in the morning with cleanser that's fine I tried that does not work for me. I have to have cleanser morning and night. Otherwise, my skin gets so um, clogged up, and it's just not. It's just not worth it <laughs> for me. So cleanser. Um, this is a good one. Now the next thing is, and also one thing I want to mention is, when after you wash your face, don't dry your face off. Um, keep it damp. So and if you do dry it, don't dry it with the hand towel. Uh, put a designated towel for you and keep it, I wouldn't keep it in the bathroom just for the face, honest to tell you, because there's all kinds of fumes in there circulating and I don't think you want that on your face, but it's up to you. Um, I wouldn't do that. But I, what I do, I just tap my skin off and I give it a, I don't know, 30 seconds or maybe I go turn my coffee on, coffee machine on while that's happening. Um, so yeah, I, I leave it damp. So as soon as it's damp and ready to actually soak some product, I go in with toner. To me, toner is essential. Um, I have oily T-zone, but also I have like normal to dry skin tone. It also gets to be um, a little dehydrated depending on what's going on. There's a lot of AC going on, but then you go outside and it's hot. So your, your skin produces so much more oils because of the heat and all that. Um, but then you go inside stores and inside um, the house and the car and there's so much or your work uh, there's so much AC going on that actually um, it does the opposite so my skin needs hydration for that I use a toner again the same with the uh, cleanser whatever you use for a toner is up to you so if your skin is like really oily like my friend she cannot use something that's really moisturized because it's just too much for her skin so she'll opt for something that's really light and she'll do like maybe one um layer me on the other hand i've been using this one and it's good and it's hydrating it's um it's the keep cool and suit toner bamboo um toner 85 percent um, it's a good one. Um, excited to try it, to, to finish it off because um, I've been on it for quite a while. But I definitely do more than one layer, at least two to three layers, I'd say. Rarely that I would do one. I don't, I don't think I do one. Um, but two to three layers is what works for me. And I just tap it, you know, give it a little second to, to a kind of soak in and then tap again. I never let my skin dry. Um, I don't let it dry. Now, when I get out of the shower, by the time I put whatever on and then I go to put something, the, the next skincare item on or the first one, um, it might get a little, but in the morning, this is just, it goes in right away. 
So um, I use two to three layers, you use whatever you need. And then also look for toners that are into your um, skin needs. If you want hydration, get more if you want. Um, they have these like spray, like, um, not a, it's not really considered a toner, but a mist. But I guess it's, it's still kind of like a toner, but it's in a mist form and it's got some oils in there if you need that right away. If you're like really dry and really flaky, then you might want that to kind of calm down your skin uh, problems. But this will be it for me. Now, the next thing is I do a um, serum. If you want to skip the serum, it's up to you. Serum is actually just... Um, they are kind of like the most important... Um, step into your routine or I should say uh, product because serums are concentrated for your targeted um, things that you need. So um, for example, if you're acne prone and you want something that uh, fights against that, then you can use that. Um, Innisfree has a green tea serum, which works really good. And there's other ones too. And if you want more hydration, then you'll opt for hydration for, for a hydrating one. If you want, um, I don't know, wrinkle repair, then you'll opt for something like that. So that's customizable to you and your skin needs. Um, I, what I do is in the morning, I usually I would do a vitamin C, but lately I've been doing these niacinamide, um, the 10% um, with zinc from the ordinary, because I had so much um, staining from my um, pimples and it just it seemed like the vitamin C that I was using which was a timeless 20% it just was not taking care of it so I thought I'll just try a different approach I've been using vitamin C for a long time but I'm almost done with these honestly this seems like it's doing really really good it's almost gone but it seems like it's really doing really really good we'll see if I'll you know continue with buying the same one or I'll go back to vitamin C we'll see but an antioxidant for the morning it's really um, recommended so that it fights against the um, uh, radicals free radicals chases them down and it just fights them <laughs> so that would be the next step um, now the next one on top of that would be the cream the cream that you use, again, the same thing, customization is to what you would like. Now, for example, in the morning, I use this one um, because it's, it's oil-free, not because of that, but it's got a lot of good ingredients. So it's got ceramides, it's got the glycerin, it's got the um, all kinds of ceramides. And then I thought it was something else. I'm not saying it right away, but it's got the ceramides and the glycerin, so it will help with um, all of that good stuff that we want to uh, do. Now it is say PM, but it doesn't matter. You can use it morning or night. I usually use it in the morning because at nighttime, I feel like I need something more moisturizing. I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this because I don't think it's um, thick enough for even for the morning. I do use it in combination with an oil because of it i use the oil morning and night um i right now i'm i'm using this one from Rovectin, which i'm almost gone and i'm like i need another one and i don't know i don't want the same one i i like to try new things and there's so much stuff out there and it's just so exciting to try new things so when i finish with one product um i like to try a different one not just the same one unless i see like it's doing wonders then i'll keep with it but usually um yeah i i I like new ones so <laughs> I won't jump from one to one you know I won't start something for a week and then another one and another one. I just definitely go through with it to see if it does anything and then move on to a new one so yeah um, so after that I use it in combination or I'll put this one first and then the cream it depends on how I feel so that will be my, um, the cream will be the sealant, you know, that will seal everything in and keep it in there. Now you definitely want to give your skincare time to soak in before you go in with your sunscreen. I consider sunscreen part of my skincare routine because it does that. So it, it just protects your skin. It's not a makeup, it's not anything enhancing anything is just protecting you so to me skincare um sunscreen is skincare part of it so depending on what you do that day if you're just going regular to, to work school whatever just a normal sunscreen something that you can put it on and use it that doesn't really um, make you too sweaty or too oily or whatever whatever your favorite is there's so many like reviews up there 
um, from various people, my mind, myself included. And so um, if you don't know what you like, just YouTube it. I don't know if that's a term, but YouTube it. Uh, Google it usually is what we say, but YouTube it and you'll come up with so much stuff and you can pick something if you don't know um, based on recommendations and such. So that is the last step that I would do. Hold on. Um, I have this one. I just put it in here. Um, I put it in. So if you're going to go for a swim or at the beach or uh, for a hike for for like a running or whatever it is the case that requires you to sweat or be in like a constant heat and the sun that is so strong, I do recommend you use something water resistant or something that does not run. Now, if you don't know um, sunscreens and how they act just go for a water resistant one if you do know how they do sometimes even if they're not water resistant they still protect you um, like one so it'll just stick so nice to your skin that it does not um, go as soon as you sweat um, in the same lines with that um, I do recommend using a lip uh, SPF just because the lips get burnt off too and it's so it's so uncomfortable and they just get like burnt up around the, 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 the tip of it, you know, not the tip, but the, the, the edge of it and it's so uncomfortable. So I do recommend using one. Now, if you if you don't want to use it, some, some of them are really chalky, especially I had the one from Hurrah. Um, it was so chalky. I just, I didn't want to put it on. It makes my teeth yellow. Coffee doesn't help. I still drink it. <laughs> I still drink it. I'll still always drink my coffee. The other, let's go back to that. Um, yes, yeah, so I do recommend using something like that. Now, if you don't want to use it all the time, that's fine, but definitely use it at least to kind of keep the burning down. And then on the same lines, I do recommend a um, lip sleeping pack or um, one of these, which is super nice. The um, same lip sleeping mac, or where is the other one? Oh, right here that I just put on. Or this one, something that is so nourishing and so, um, so like feeds your, your lips with good um, nutrition and good um, moisturization and good like emollients, everything that you need for your lips. I do recommend getting something like that. You don't have to spend a fortune on it. Um, I know some people use Vaseline. I really don't like Vaseline. I just don't. I think it is better, you know? And it's just more elegant. You can buy them from like, Sometimes iHerb has like really good deals. Like just the other day, they had like 20% off um, K Beauty. Uh, I don't know what you can find in there. I know I've bought stuff from there, but I don't know what else you can, you know, what you can stuff, uh, what you can buy in there right now as far as this goes. Uh, but even if you get it from like Korean websites, Stylevana, Josie, they have so many deals and so many like coupons that you can actually apply and it reduces the price so much and whatever you can buy up here in us um i don't know if you're from us or from whatever but whatever you buy in your country is going to be so much more expensive than what you can buy from the websites from the actual country of origin so if you want something that's korean i do suggest buy it from that website because it just it might take a little longer to get to you but it's gonna get there and you're gonna pay less and you can make a bigger purchase you know to cover for the shipping and all that so that you don't have to pay shipping but yeah um unless you have to pay the oh my gosh the what is that called i can't even remember what it's called but in romania if i send my mom a package um she has to pay taxes or whatever that is called, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't have to pay nothing here. I don't, I don't understand how just, I'm sorry. It just, I'm going to be done. <laughs> but yeah. And then for the last, these, you definitely want to take care of your body. So this is just mine. You don't have to use this one, but I really love this one. It's like really affordable. I think it's like 16 bucks, 13 to 16 bucks on um, iHerb. 
and then you find it cheaper at the Koreans because it is a Korean uh, brand. They have different variations and different like thicknesses and all that, but um, they are like really good for you um, cream. So um, our skin dries out. Our skin is gonna dry out so much during the summer because of the sun and because we're exposed to it and because we swim. And um, my pool has salt water, but not everybody has salt water and so chlorine will really dry your skin off so i do recommend using a, a um one of these or oil i do actually use the oil like after i shave and such because it's it seems like it's more calming so after i shave i just don't dry off don't towel dry and i just use oil and um when it soaks in it just leaves such a nice um such a nice sheen and like shine and it's just really pretty you know summer skin it's, it's kind of known to be bronzy and um shiny and sparkly and all that um goodness so yeah um also i forgot to mention this how did i forget to mention this oh goodness let's talk about these two things uh, which you can find in different variations from different places. Um, I'm just trying this one again. I've tried it before. I didn't think I saw any difference, but I thought I'll give it a try again for my blackheads and all that. It's the uh, uh, Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Um, it's salicylic acid based. Um, in the summertime, because we do sweat a lot more and because it's so much hotter, our, um, our pores tend to clog more than in the winter time. So I've incorporated this for at least two weeks now and I do it like um, morning and night. It hasn't irritated. It hasn't dried my skin out. It's, it's kind of feels a little oily when you put it on. Um, so I don't know what's doing that. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not oils in there. There's no oils in there. It's got green tea, water. It's got very little ingredients, um, but it, it just leaves kind of like, um, almost like an oily um, residue. Um, so yeah, it's not drying or anything. So I, I'll use it morning and night or morning or night and depends on the day and depends what I'm doing. Uh, and this actually is the first, the first thing that I put on because it is an exfoliant. I put it on first. Now in the morning, if I shave and I put all that oils on, um, I will do this one and then I kind of let it sit there for until, I don't know, few minutes, five, few minutes um, until my, uh, my body's, you know, done with all that. And then I move on with the toner and the rest. Um, and then the, the next thing, um, it's this which um, this is just a prescription for my dermatologist. Um, it's an acne cream. Yeah. Um, use a retinol. Mine is tesarotin. 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 Blah, blah. That. Um, because I did have a, um, a uh, retinol or retinoid, it depends on which one you prefer, but I did have a retinol and it was over the counter, it was um, over the counter. It was the different one, which worked really good, guys, really good. Uh, I liked it, it did uh, really good for my, um, uh, what do you call, for my pimples, for my um, hormonal, <laughs> for my hormonal nodules, because nodules, I would used to get such big nodules and it was just so inflamed and, and they hurt so bad. So I tried that over the counter and it did wonders, you guys, wonders. But what it did not do is blackheads. So after being a while there, I said, you know what, let me go to the dermatologist. And I talked to him, him and I, um, I told him that I wanted something stronger that would, you know, take care of that. So he prescribed something else. Well, that something else didn't work. It was the same thing. So he's like, well, I'll try you. Let's try the tesserotin. So I'm like, sure. Well, I did that and still didn't take care of it. So then he asked me to like up it up. And so I'm like, well, I do it like two, two times a week, you know? So he's like, no, do it more. So I did it more guys. And he just pretty much like tore my skin apart. I was flaky. I was dry. I was, um, very, my skin was very irritated, um, very um, sensitive too. So especially in my um, T-zone, 
out of all places where I'm the oiliest, you know, but it also feels like I am oily, but I also feel tightness in there if I if I don't put a lot of hydration. And that's why I'm doing like two to three um, layers of uh, toner. And also, like if I feel like it's soaking in too fast, I'll put it in between layers too. So like between before I put the oil, I'll, I'll put some uh, toner in there and kind of mix it on. And then I put it on to kind of add on the uh, moisture and the hydration too. But yeah, it, it, it ruined my skin really. And if you look back at my videos, um, you'll see me complain about it and you'll see how just everything just does not look right. So guys, if you are going to use a, um, a retinol and anything that's for that, that's gonna cause your skin to dry out, I do suggest like start it slow. Don't listen to your doctor because honestly, I did much better when I did it on my own before I, you know, went ahead and I listened to him and I just got my skin all wacky. So I don't know, I mean, I just, I just don't understand it, you know, rent over. <laughs> um, so if you're going to start something, start slowly and keep it consistent. If you see that it dries off, back it up. I actually stop for a little bit and then once it gets back to normal, then restart it with like less, um, um, in, not intensity, but less, uh, less times, uh, less days. So yeah, right now I'm at one time with the um, um, tisserotin. Um, it's got like other stuff in there too. It's got the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide, which is 4%, but that just wasn't enough. It just dried my skin. It just made it peely and angry with me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish it now. Once a week is what I use it. And then I, I use this. These are only my, my only acids that I use right now. Um, I'll do masks once in a while for like with salicylic acid or like clay to just kind of try to, um, you know, push all of that out or, or pull it out. Yeah. So, yeah. But this is what I recommend for summertime. I do recommend you guys don't skip on your sunscreen. Um, customize everything to your liking, to what you actually want. Don't just, you know don't just go in like that. Just start one product at a time. Don't start them all at once. If you're new to skincare, your bases are cleanser, um, toner, sunscreen. Well, cream and sunscreen if you need one. Those are your bases. Those will keep you covered. If you want to add in acids and all that, you can add it after you've like kind of acclimated with that. Add in a either salicylic acid if you are acne prone or a uh, lactic acid or all kinds of, uh, there's all kinds of other different um, acids for like um, exfoliation, not necessarily for pores. For pores, I do think that salicylic acid and... There's one more. Is it Mandelic? Might be Mandelic that actually kind of does the same thing. It's, oh, no. Something tree. I don't remember. But anyways, those are the things that you actually want to look for for your skin. Um, keep in mind that um, skincare takes time. So it's not, you're not going to see results from the beginning. It's going to take you months to actually get into a nice place. And when you start a new product, you want to give it time to actually see if it works, not just discard it from, you know, a week to, it's going to take time to actually see how your skin reacts with it. And if your skin is dry and dehydrated, you'll see more pores and more wrinkles and more fine lines. Um, as soon as you give your skin the hydration and the moisturization, moisturization that it needs, <laughs> um, your skin is going to relax and it's going to be more plump and it's going to look nicer. So that's just my experience with skincare. Um, if I'm wrong, prove me wrong. But if I'm not, then, you know, it works for me. And not to toot my own horn, but uh, I can help a few people there with some suggestions and some, um, you know, 
guidance here or guidance there just to kind of get what they needed for their skin needs so anyways guys um i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that you got something out of it and that you learned something if you did not know it let me know down below i'm curious to know how how are you on on the skincare compartment i department are you like really elevated do you know all your stuff are you like just starting up what's what's your deal what's your schnoozy? okay guys i hope you enjoyed this and um uh, up until i see you guys next time you guys take care